This is Chris Bernay. You always like, subscribe, subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to my other channel, World of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Bernay. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I'll be down there in the description box. And I am here to do my AEW Rampage April 22nd, 2022 reviews. So here we go with tonight's episode of AEW Rampage. And then we kick off for tonight with Adam Cole versus Tomohiro Ishii. Uh, Ishii, um, 101. Orange Cassidy was at ringside watching this match, and Rocky Romero was as well. And this was a qualifying match winner. This match goes into the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament, so yeah, that's what this match was about. But at the ending of this match, we've seen um, Ishii dominating this match at the ending, beating down Adam Cole. But then we've seen uh, Switchblade Jay White come down and attack Rocky Romero from behind, tossing him into the still steps. And it caused Ishii to get distracted. And same with the referee. The referee got distracted by that. And while the referee was distracted by that, we seen Adam Cole hit the low blow onto Ishii. And then hits the spinach move, the boom, onto Ishii. And then pins up for the one, two, three. So yeah, Adam Cole defeated Tomohiro Ishii tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. And he qualifies into the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. That's what happened. It was a pretty good match. If you have yet, go check it out. It went along like about... 12 minutes, I think, somewhere around that time limit. So, yeah, uh, pretty good match. Though. I'll give that match two, I'll just give it two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was an okay match. Though. But still to come later on tonight, we will see Eddie, King, Eddie Kingston versus Daniel Garcia one-on-one -on -one later on tonight. Because earlier today, we seen uh, Daniel Garcia walking, um, you know, backstage with the rest of uh, the JAS uh, with them. And the security guard said no. They can't come along because tonight Daniel Garcia got to go against Eddie Kingston all along, all alone. So yeah, uh, that's what's going to be happening. That'll be later on tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Rampage. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Rampage, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Lance Archer with Jake the Snake Roberts at ringside versus Sir Pentacle one-on-one. -on -one. And we, uh, you know, before I talk about that match, we got to talk about Hook. Now, Hook was backstage, but to get interviewed and stuff. But then we seen Dan Housen backstage and pretty much throwing chips around. And Hook got him and he said, well, if you wanted my attention, you got it now. So, yeah, that's what happened there. But, yeah, we get to the match, uh, Lance Archer's match. And it was quick. Sir Pensico was trying to attack him before the bell rung, but it didn't work out. And Lance Archer laid him out, hitting the blackout onto him, and then pins up to the three count. So, yeah, Lance Archer defeated Sir Pentaco tonight. But then, after the match ended, he laid him out with three choke slams, uh, beating him down. So, yeah, that's what happened there. So, yeah, with that match and everything, I'll give it a half of a star. That's why I'll give it. But, yeah, up next, we're going to be seeing Daniel Garcia versus Eddie Kingston one on one up next. So, yeah, see you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Rampage, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Eddie Kingston versus Daniel Garcia, one-on-one. -on -one, and it was a pretty good match. Uh, at the ending of this match, at one point, we seen Daniel Garcia lock on the sharpshooter, trying to make Eddie Kingston tap out, but he grabbed the ropes. But at the ending, we seen him trying to lock it on again. But then Eddie Kingston poked him in the eyes. And then hits like a, well, he was trying to hit like Ansigari, but it was botched. Uh, he didn't leap up all the way. Uh, he kicked him, like, in the arm instead, but it was whatever. But then he hit the exploder suplex onto uh, Daniel Garcia, pins him, one, two. Garcia barely kicking out two, and then he lifts him back up, and then hits a spinning back fist onto Daniel Garcia, and then pins up for the three count. So, yeah, Eddie Kingston defeated Daniel Garcia tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened. And then after the match ended, he grabs the mic, and he starts talking. Telling Daniel Garcia to look at the camera and he says, uh, this is a message to you, Chris Jericho. So, yeah, that's what he said there. But it was a pretty good match. I mean, they had that one botch, but it was a good match. I'll give that match two and a half stars as well. It was a pretty good one. Uh, but then after the match ended, we seen uh, Keith Lee and Shane Swerve Strickland sending a message to Team Taz. Um, so, yeah, that's what happened there. Um, pretty much talking junk and all that. Uh, so, yeah, that's what happened there. But up next, we're going to be seeing the main event. It will be the TBS Women's Champion, Jade Cargill versus Marina Shafir. Up next for the TBS Women's Championship, 
on, up next on AEW Rampage in the main event. So yeah, see you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Rampage, it was a main event. It was a uh, it was a one on one match. Uh, it was the TBS Women's Champion Jay Cargill versus uh, Marina Shafir one on one for the TBS Women's Championship in the main event for tonight. It was an okay match. At one point, we seen uh, Jay Cargill hitting a choke slam onto Marina Shafir onto a table. She the table didn't break. It just like she hit it and then like. The table tipped over and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened there. And then at one point, we see Marina trying to lock on this, um, the leg lock onto um, Jade. But then Jade kept on kicking her upside the head. Finally releasing the hold after it took a minute. And then uh, we see Jade hit her finish move. Uh, jaded onto Marina Shafir and then pinned her for the one, two, three. So yeah, uh, Jade Cargill. Defeated Marina Shafir tonight in a one-on-one match and has retained the TBS Women's Championship. That's what happened. And now she is 30-0 and in AEW. So, yeah, it was an okay match. I'll give that match two stars. That's what I'll give it. But, yeah, probably match of the night. It will be Eddie Kingston versus Daniel Garcia because that match was pretty good. It had that one botch, but it was still a good match between the two. And then Lance Archer pretty much just showing his dominance tonight against um, Sir Pentico. Uh, heading forward to his match against Wardlow uh, this Wednesday on Dynamite. And then Adam Cole versus uh, Tomohiro Ishii was a pretty good match as well. Uh, but yeah, and this match was pretty good as well. So yeah, for tonight's AEW Rampage, I'll give it, yeah, I'll give it three and a half. I'll just give it three stars. That's why I'll give it. But it was still a pretty good Rampage. So yeah, that has been my AEW Rampage. Uh, April 22nd, 2022 reviews. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team WRS Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Bales. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram. And I'll be down there in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys later for this Monday's Monday Night Raw reviews. See you guys later. Until then.